Good morning, everybody. Long time no see. Park Rat Pat here. And here, which is a new lot I've never hit before. Now, we're kind of in a downtowny area. And uh, there's probably going to be a lot of trash. Hopefully, I don't run into a bunch of ants and stuff. I'm going to get my gear together, get out there and start swinging. It's been over a week since I've had a chance to detect, so I'm really looking forward to this today. Let me get geared up. I'll see you out there at the first hole. My very first target out here was a soda can. It was about three inches down. I got a very similar signal here at three and a half inches and pulled a 2002 dime, first coin of the day. All right, the potential is there. Let's keep swinging on. I will see y'all at the next good target. Now this was putting off a great dime signal right here, but it's just a food lid on the upside. It's got the full shank. Awesome stuff. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, this one I had to run down there about four and a half, five inches. Not a penny, but a nice little chunk of copper. I'll add that one to the scrap pile all day long and have no complaints. All right, swinging on, big area here to do. Apparently I'm the only one who's ever been out here because I'm finding everything. So let me keep swinging on. Oh, all right, all right. I'm covering some ground here. Lots of empty soda cans and beer cans, that's for sure. Just got a really nice chunk of copper here. Happy to have that one. Not too, too deep, about five inches. And that's a great sign that there probably used to be a house or some other type of building here on this corner. So the potential is definitely there. I'm going to take five, get some soda fizz, and then keep on a swinging. I'll see you at the next good target. Hey everybody, Ooh, not a whole lot of action at that other lot there. I mean, lots of action as far as trash goes, but I only got the one dime and it's getting hot, hot. So I've moved on down the road, still on the same road. There's a lot of empty lots out here that are public land. Uh, this one I'm at now, as you can see, has a ton more shade. So I'm gonna get out there and swing. I'll catch you at the next target. Wish me luck. Okay, this lot's not really any cleaner than the last one, pulling lots of can slaw and stuff, but at least it's shaded. I got something down here interesting. Nice piece. You can see the little wire coming off the back. This was probably a marker light for a trailer, something like that. So pretty cool. We'll throw that one in the pouch. Um, probably after I work this place, I'm going to skip the rest of the empty lots and head down to a park that's got a playground. Um, just to get out of the trashiness of everything. But for now, I'm still here and swinging. I'll catch you at the next target. Well, all right, all right. Looks like Park Rat got his second coin on the day. As soon as I flipped out the plug, it was sitting right there in the bottom. Looks like a penny. Let's see what kind. Uh, is it a penny? Yep, that's a penny for sure. Flip off the back here. All right, she's a memorial. Let's see if we can spot a date on this beauty. Let me zoom a Kate here. Uh, 1970. Nice. All right. Got a copper. Happy day. Going to keep working here, I guess. I'll catch you at the next one. All right. Good stuff there. Right about here was where I got that 1970 copper. Right down there. Got an identical signal to it. I had to go down a little bit further and it was not a penny but y'all know how I feel about big chunks of copper I love them all right that one's going in the pouch gonna keep swinging looks like a nice area over there where the grass isn't too high so I'm gonna try to work in that direction Whew. all right had a nice signal there I could not resist turned out to be one of these H shaped pieces of aluminum I believe these are used for roofing um, plywood you know keep everything held together and lined up right I could be wrong but 
Either way, chunk of aluminum, that pays off in the scrap bucket. I'll take it all day long. All right, everybody, I'm back. Went to the store, got me some snacks. Got me a little sodi fizz, cooling off with my working air conditioner. Woohoo! And before I get out there to this playground, I wanted to talk to you about, you know the title, My Last Hunt. This is not my last hunt. The last hunt was not my last hunt. But what if it had been? You know, between that hunt and this hunt, I had a few little disasters go on. The biggest one of which was I hurt my back. Pulled the muscle, things were down and out, and you know, if things had been worse, that could have been my last hunt. If something went wrong today, and today was my last hunt. If your next hunt is your last hunt. If your last hunt is your last hunt. Be happy about it. I'm glad I can look at my last hunt and the video I made. And even though there was nothing particularly stellar about it. I had a good time. I had a happy time. I had a fun time. And I was able to share it with the subscribers, my friends, family, the people I love and care about. And look at it in a positive light. If you're out there, even if you're having a crappy day, hey man, today I got one penny so far and one dime, but I still got my smile. I'm going to go out there, hopefully I get a nickel and a quarter, compete my little group for the day. I'll be super happy with that. If you go home from a hunt and you're not happy about it, sit down and reflect and find the happiness in that moment you had. Because if it turns out to be your last hunt ever, you don't want to be sitting back with your wounded back or whatever has gone on to stop you from detecting again. You don't want to be sitting back thinking, and man, my last hunt sucked. That's just no way to be to begin with. So, my last hunt wasn't the best, but it wasn't my last hunt. This is not the best hunt ever. It may not be my last, but if it is my last, I'm enjoying it to the fullest, and I'd like you to enjoy your hunts to the fullest too. Don't put the pressure on yourself about the things you get. Put the joy in yourself about the fun you're having. That will spread, and that can carry you on between hunts, because while my back was hurting, and I'm thinking, man, I haven't gone this long without hunting in forever. It was over a week for me. It's like, I could have died of malnutrition. I need to get out there and swing. But you can watch my last video and go, man, that was good. I had a feeling, yeah, I remember that one. That was awesome. And it's all about how you do things internally. So don't let your last hunt be your worst hunt in your head. Always make sure you find something happy about every hunt you do. And when you get to the next hunt, find something about that to be happy with also. Alrighty, I'm gonna stop the jibber jabber blah blah stuff here, get myself geared up and head out there. It's a playground. I think I might find a quarter. <laughs> Let's hope so. I'll see you when we get out there. Well, things are a little quieter than I'd hoped out here, but just there under the wood chips, a, a short piece, ba ba boom a shield penny nice 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 happy to throw that one in a pouch still got the swings to check out and then i'll check out these sitting areas and stuff there's more here i'll find it all right things have been really quiet not a lot of trash no treasure i did get that penny now i'm checking out this old volleyball court which you can tell by the grass encroaching around the edges has not been used in quite a while and I got a scratchy junk signal down in there. Two shovelfuls. Look what I flipped out. I believe it's a rattle. Or at least at one time it was a rattle. That's cool stuff. And that's a first for me. So happy to have that one. We'll plop that in the pouch. I'm going to keep swinging on. Stay here for a little longer. Maybe look for another place. Not sure. Let's see how the weather's treating me. Well, all right, park rats working along the edge of the sidewalk here and uh, get a nice signal down there 67 This has got to be a clad penny 
pretty junked up can't get a date off of it but happy to throw that one in the pouch i'm going to work over by that tree because it provides a lot of shade for anyone who may have been playing volleyball back in the day so let me check it out well i've been going around all these trees in the shady area working the edge of the sidewalk and getting nothing so this place has been picked over pretty good just got a signal here i thought was a penny looks like a little piece of scrap aluminum not sure what it was from but uh, that'll never bother anybody again i'll stick that one in the pouch i'm gonna work here a little bit longer then maybe head on down the road to a different park and uh start working my way toward home all right you'll either see me at the next hole or at the next location okay everybody park rat got lucky i bumped into a guy and he owns this big lot right here I was able to check it out and for sure he is the owner and not somebody just shining me on. Give me permission to get out there and detect. I'm going to gear up, take a few swings, I'll see you at the first hole. Well now this is a pretty quiet lot, a little bit of trash, but uh, I'm in here about 50 feet or so onto the property. Get a great signal there, not deep at all. Nice spill, penny and a dime. Can't tell the years right now, but I'm throwing them in the pouch. Happy rat at a new location. On we go. All right, after that little coin spill, I found a food can lid. Didn't have the shank on it. Now down here, I got another great signal, and it looks like I got me another memorial. All right. Let's see what year is on this one. Man, the color is really nice. All right, let's see if we can zoom in and find out a date. Yeah, looks like a 64. That is awesome. It's a 60 something for sure. There we go. There's a, yep, 64. All right, happy park rat in the pouch. There could be silver here. That sure would be nice. All right, cool little find out there. The field is fairly quiet and that's nice. Gives you a chance to dig everything. Just got one of these. I believe this holds the wire for a grounding rod. So there was probably a building on this property at some point, and that makes things even more hopeful. All right, I'm gonna swing on for a little bit longer. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if this was copper or brass, but it sure did give off a nice sound. All right, one more chunk in the pouch. Moving on, almost to the back of the property. I'd say I'm about in the middle right now. Cool. Okay, I got something really interesting here, and it looks about the size to be real, so I may have to call the police. Let's check this out. Big hole about four inches deep. Heavy. Uh, no, this, this may just be a toy. Uh, yeah, I believe it's a toy. I see a seam at the bottom there. So, yep, yep, little side plate switched out. This has got to be some kind of cap gun, I believe. All right, pretty darn cool. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, I'll try and uh, brush this one up better at home. And uh, I'm going to swing on a little bit more. Uh, looks like the rain's coming in, so we're going to have to, gonna have to call it a day soon. I need to see what this says. Detective, ooh. Probably says the same thing on the other side, yep. So this is somebody's toy cap gun. This is probably the best condition I've ever found one in, really. That is awesome stuff. All right, I'm throwing that one in a pouch. I will catch y'all at the next target or you'll see me in the wrap up. Sweet stuff. All right, everybody, it is wrap up time. Whew. I got a little bit of junk today. Man, it was nice to get out and get junk again. I'll tell you what, you don't realize how much you miss it till you don't get to do it. I got a few good pieces for the scrap metal bin. Always love that. First time I ever found a rattle. That was down in the sand of the volleyball court area. I ended up with a total of 25 cents. One of those pennies being a 1964 very nice that property has a lot of promise and on that same chunk of property i pulled this and boy it looked real at first it's about the same size as my caltech then i could see that that side was open so 
a little cap gun. Would have taken the roll of caps in there and fed up through the top. Of course, that's not working anymore. That's all right. Still a cool find. Glad to have had that and gotten out today. If this is my last video, I had a good one. I had a fun time, and I'll be happy looking back on it. But something tells me I will be out hunting again, and I hope you are too. Have a fun time. Like, share, subscribe. God bless. And never forget, you are only one hole away from a really good day.